Um, today we're gonna, I'm going to do a uh, fairy for the rose quartz and serenity colors of the year. Now I was thinking something like that. Actually, truth be known, this is originally what I was thinking. I thought that would be cool in rose quartz and serenity, but uh, I thought we should probably try a fairy instead. Something like that. What do you think? I like them. Now, the colors I'm going to use, um, again, because I want it to be budget friendly. I like budget friendly. So the colors I have chosen for this project are Light Magenta out of the Artist Loft and this is called Peacock Blue um, and it's Crafts Paint. It's just Peacock Blue and White and I have, no you don't have to, I prefer certain colors out of certain brands. And I like this. This is the Cadmium Yellow Deep from the Academy. But we could use some, um, find an orange yellow out of, out of the craft paints. Or even tone down, tone down an orange, just a regular orange. And you probably, or tint a regular yellow, you probably could come up with the same thing in craft paint. So, first thing we're going to do is, we're going to draw it, and yes, I'm always opening stuff in the beginning of these videos, I swear, but because my husband loved me, he bought me a new pack of brushes. <laughs> that is true love, when, they're buying, when they go out somewhere and they say, oh, she needs brushes. I'm like, yeah, I do. You know I do, baby. <laughs> He makes me laugh. So I'm going to take my big old round here, my brand new big old round. As you saw, they were from the folk art. Um, I'm going to take my peacock blue, mix some white with it, and get some, get a nice serenity color. I want it a little darker than the serenity, just a little darker, because this is going to be our guidelines. <laughs> and there she is. Okay, I think I think we're gonna leave most of this open and we're going to put her right about here. So let me get a little water in my brush and I'm gonna draw let's see. I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, notice my circle's pretty it's a circle. Now if you were doing this at home you probably don't want to do it in paint. You can draw this out with pencil, but I'm doing this in paint so you can see it. Then, because I want her chin pointing down, this is the line where her chin's going to be. Watch. See, I come out and I curve. Curve right there. See, that's her chin. Now, where are her eyeballs? Her eyeballs, see her chin's going like this, so her eyeballs are going to be going like this. Her eyeballs are about halfway through that circle. So we're going to go right about there. We're going to come in a little bit. So we're going to smudge that. There we go. Her nose, uh, this is her eyeballs. Her nose is going to come out right here, just a little. And so is her mouth, just a little. See, there's a teeny tiny triangle there. And uh, a little bit more. We don't want to go that far. We want them kind of the same same size. There we go. That will be our watch. We're going to kind of do a, the opposite end arrow thing like that. And now we're going to put some hair on it. Um, we're going to go up and just follow this. This is her, this is her, um, 
actually, how did I have that hair going? I'm going to take a, my, one of my flat brushes. Not one of the new ones that my awesome husband bought, but this one. And I'm just going to brush through that blue I've got going on. I think I'm going to have her hair going up. Woo, look at that. See, it's turning into serenity. As it gets thinner, it turns into serenity. Which is kind of nifty, because that's my cousin's name, Serenity. Actually, it's that it makes me laugh, because Serenity is completely around my family. Um, my cousin's name is Serenity, and my daughter's best friend she grew up with, her daughter, she named her daughter Serenity, and they're only a couple of years apart. Okay, something like that. Now, with this, we got to figure out where her, um, where her ear is, which is pretty easy. Because look, if this is where her jaw carves up, right here, then this is where her ear is going to be. There it is. Her little elven ear. So, that makes life so much easier. We'll go around like that. And we'll fill the rest of it in. Now, like I said, I want some of the blues to be darker than the Serenity. So I'm going to use the full strength Peacock Blue, like back here. Okay, and we're going to fill in. Because I'm going to take some of my white and uh, go over my lines here. I don't necessarily want them like that. There's that. I'm going to clean that up a little. See? I'll leave that, that shadow. But I'm going to clean those up a little. See? Just adding some white and cleaning up my lines. Cleaning up my lines. Cleaning up my lines. to make sure I don't see those. And so she is going to be serenity, I guess. Now, let's clean that up a little. I think I'm going to wipe that out because I like, that's, that's the shape of an eyeball. Okay, we're going to do a curve. Curve, see, like that. And then we're going to come up like that. And then we're going to come out a little bit because her eyes are closed so her bottom lashes are going to be here like that I'm going to pull that out and she's going to have a little bit of a shadow coming down this way so we're going to kind of follow where that there we go that is our fairy face shape so far and we're going to get rid of that right there. If, you're, if your jaw is as masculine as mine, you can tone it down a little. <laughs> but I like her so far. So we're going to just bring in our hair. Now watch this. Right about... Wait a minute, let me get that. I had a yellow blob in the nose and I did not like it. So we're going to get rid of that. Okay. Now right about here... I'm going to say right in between here, we're going to go like this, curve down. You know what that is? That's her arm. Here's where the other, um, this is going to be where her arm, her underarm is. And see, we can actually go like this. We're going to curve this right like that. We're going to put a clavicle. That's that bone up here, your uh, collarbone. And if any of you fell out of a tree when you were little, you will understand what that is. Okay, there's her thumb. And watch this. I'm going to be lazy. I'm not going to make all of her fingers. I'm going to do it like... I'm just going to make a line. Make a hand. Something like that. Do -do -do. And then we're going to bring... I'm going to try to bring it out, like, eh, I think we need to go down a little. I think her hand's coming across like that, so we'll come down like that. 
And again, because the paint's wet, if we make it too thick, we blend it out. It's serenity. That's what the cool thing about painting like this is. If it's too thick, blend it out. Now, I am using the acrylic paper, so I don't have the issue that I would if I were using watercolor. If I were using watercolor, I'd have a little harder time with this. Now, because our hand stops right there, I'm going to show you the cool trick to making actual... We're going to go one, two, three, four. All the way that way. Something like that. And, oops, don't get the serenity or the pink in there yet. The rose quartz. Now I'm going to take my white, probably not that much white, and we're going to blend that out a little. We're going to go like this. Here we go. There. And make it kind of like that. So we get the idea, and we're going to just put a little line right there. Give the idea that her hand is going around her arm. Now, if you've got um, a mutant hand like I have, because I have a mutant hand right now. See it? Yeah. Just fatten it up, thin it up, whatever you think you need to do with your hand. And there. There we go. Fatten it up, thin it up. There is really, um, there's no... I don't think there's a whole lot of tricks to drawing hands other than draw them. Draw lots of them. Draw them until you're like, goodness gravy, I don't want to see another hand for the next six months. That is the trick to drawing hands and arms. There we go. I think your arm should start right there. So we'll put a little bit of a V down here right at the corner. Nearly right at the corner. Right there. Think, think, think. There we go. Looks good. Okay. That's our gals. And if you, like me, have uh, start to see that line come back, just put a little more in. And I know you're sitting there going, but her forehead is so high. Well, peeshaw, peeshaw. So we're going to take uh, more of the peacock. Peacock. Blue. Yeah. Uh-oh. See, I was testing out different blues today before making this, and so I add a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to just make this big old honking round here, like that. And I'm going to get my brush wet. I want it almost to the point of drippy. It's not going to be drippy, but I want it almost to that point. But I definitely want it darker than her hair. Because, believe it or not, it's going to be lighter than her hair. There we go, there we go. Something like that works. Then we're going to come back through. We're going to make, we're going to make a fatter one this time. Whoa, there. And again, we're going to color. Watch your, watch your face. You don't want to watch your hand. You just made that. See? Now when we go over it, it will look right. There we go. And there. See, it doesn't look as strange as it did when we started. Okay. There we go. I like it so far. Now, I'm going to take my big old honking sponge, and I think we have stuff to do on her yet, so we're not panicking. But I'm going to take some of that magenta, light magenta. Is that what it's called? Is this called light magenta and white? Because we're going to just... We're going to add more white than we have here. We're going to add lots and lots of white. And then we're going to create some cool effects by spinning. 
I'm just going to spin these cars. Spin, spin. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. The neighbor is a bus driver, if that's what you were trying to tell me. Yes. Um, would you grab my coffee? It's over the, in the kitchen. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna just use this. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay. <laughs> you want a refresh? No, 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 I'm good. I think I'm good for the moment. Well, um, you asked for your coffee, so I just. Yeah, I know. <laughs> literally did what you asked. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> It was, it was something you felt kind of was good to know. Maybe not necessarily during your... Right, right. Um, anyway, I'm at, I just keep adding white. Adding white to that pink. And I'm just hitting it, hitting it, hitting it. And I'm spinning at various times to make it interesting. The neighbor is a bus driver and for like the city so he bought every so often it's funny to see it because he brings the bus home so we can have lunch or breakfast or whatever and it just cracks me up don't worry about seeing some of it on our and then I think I'll just put the rest of this done and then I'll throw in some more spins and then we're going to make the rest of it beautiful. Okay. There we go. Some more spins. See, I like the spins because it just, it gives it some movement. See, we could actually just go through and do all kinds of crazy effects, but I don't like that. Now we're going to finish up our gown because we're more than halfway done. Look at her, she's so pretty. Now with, I'm not sure, um, I had planned to do some fun things like, um, let me get some of that peacock. And right here. Now her face is pretty much a magenta, so, or not magenta, um, it's really. So I'm trying to get some more cerulean in here and make sure I like her shoulder, the way it's curved around. Because we're going to use some of that uh, magenta in a minute. I'm going to make her mouth. Okay. Just going to kind of give a shadow there. I'm going to shade this a little like that. Then I'm going to take some peacock here and I'm going to go one. Here's our big shirt. And here's a trick. If you're going to do, we can actually make her have some gossamer clothing. But see that? Every time I stop and start, I kind of give it enough space that it looks like it has folds. There we go. I'm going to take that peacock again, and you will run out of the peacock so much faster than you do with uh, regular art paints. Because I am already out, and it's crazy. Um, let's see. I think I want to go with... How about... Hmm. I think we need to do something like bring her arm this way a little. Bring this arm, make it a little bit smaller so we can see this is part of her dress right there. That'll work. Comes out, comes out. Yeah, let's do that. We're gonna kind of put a shadowing in there. And a little bit here. 
Give me an indication that she has boobies. And go. Let's put some decorative pretties up here. Now you can do this or you can choose to do hair. I like decorative pretties. And one of the ways I do decorative pretties, I'm going to take that magenta and that white on this brush, right? And I'm going to make just go around swirls. Go around, go around. Oh, I need more white because you need the contrast. That's exactly what you need is you want it to be different colors because just doing that makes it look like flowers as long as you have contrast. If you have a light and a dark, it looks, we look for patterns. Our brains look for patterns. So as long as you have a light and a dark, it's going to see something. Hey, that's not exactly what I meant to do, but let me, uh, yep. I'm going to get one of my smaller brushes. <laughs> So I'm going to show you how to do this. We're going to take Serenity in pink, and we're going to, or the light magenta, we're just going to come through here. And I'll fix her line in a minute, but look, she's now blushing. She has a really nice blush to her. I'm going to take some of that um, Cadmium Yellow Deep. Like I said, it's, a, it's an oh my god yellow with a touch of orange to it. So I'm going to mix it in with this. Now look what happens. I'm going to get more of that uh, magenta and pink, or uh, magenta and white, and it's going to kind of do a uh, skin tone. We don't want, I don't want it to be like really, really noticeable. I want it to be kind of subtle, which actually I put way too much of both colors on to be subtle. So. I'm going to have to get rid of the subtlety idea. Now, one of the things you're going to have to watch when working with craft paints, and I'm kind of experiencing it right here, is that if you're not careful, <clears throat> it will pull up. If you're painting wet over wet and it's partially dry, then it will pull up. So you have to really be careful with those. Coming back through with my curve. Like that. And I'm going to take, show you the mouth on a side view. Watch. Straight line. Bottom. It's almost like a heart with a smaller, with a smaller top here. Let me reline this so you can see. It comes out. There you go. And Let's go. There you go. So you can see that she is leaning against her shoulder. Okay. Let's get the, I'm going to mix it on the uh, canvas or the palette. I'm going to mix just a touch of that yellow with that pink, the magenta, the light magenta which, there we go, I think we need a little more white, I'm going to go over this a little bit, down here, and since I've painted all my blues in, and hopefully they're dry, or at least they will be in most spots, I'm going to see them through here, see they're showing up, they're not, they have not gone anywhere, so, there we go. I'm going to get more of that, that color mixture that I just made. I'm going to go around here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I see that I'm missing things like ears. Because we're going to take and do ears. And that. Any place that I think it's too wet, I'm, I'm trying to avoid because, you know, it will peel up. 
anytime you use craft pants are awesome don't get me wrong they really are you can make almost anything if you have an idea then you can probably do it in craft paint but but you have to have the patience of Joe and I have the patience of a TT fly so there we go she's and yes the the color variation is there I mean she's different colors all over the place now I'm going to take that Serenity color. I'm going to rinse off my brush, this big old honking angler, and I'm going to make some Serenity colors, which is just more white than. And we're going to draw in. I'm going to make. I'm to draw that in. I think I'm going to take more white. I need more white. Draw it in. One. Like that. I'm just going to kind of give it sheen. What do you think? Glistening, glimmering sheens. We're going to just avoid it on certain spots and just make it shiny. Now, there are several ways you can do this. Like I said, I'm avoiding spots, which I'm I would be coloring in the negative space or the space that's or I'm I'm creating space by coloring in around the negative space because this would be the negative space or now a friend of mine wanted to know how to do um, gossamer or uh, see-through clothing in a way it's pretty much the same method so Let's, <clears throat> let's do that on the edges. Okay, let me get a little more. Okay. So what you would do is you would take your white over it. Then you're going to take a wet brush, wet, clean brush. And you're going to pull it through. Watch. And it makes it so you can see through it now. It gives it a, um, actually it works better <laughs> if you have more contrast because like this, uh, the Serenity is really not contrasting as much as one would hope. So, that is her, let's get back to her here, here. So and I think we need to fix it a little more. There we go. There we go. And see, you can see through, because this is craft paint, you can see through. A lot of background still showing through. I'm going to fake it and put it in there. Now, one of the things with hair is always brush in the direction. If you want the hair flowing out that way, here, I'll show you. Let me grab some white. You want the hair flowing this way, you brush in that direction. There you go. 